from Cancer to your beginning of the month reading for April. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. And getting straight into what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you with a clarifying card, please. This card's not only going to clarify, but clarify in the entire reading as well. So, two cards, please. There they are, guys. We have the love and moving quickly. And it's moving so quickly that nothing's going to back this down. So it does feel like there is this huge love going on over here. Whether it's a newfound love within yourself or a new relationship, it does feel like a new relationship. It is moving to the next level. Or you could have just this Gemini Libra that is a Libra card or an Aquarius really rushing towards you. Oh, let's see exactly what's going on here. You do have this Capricorn or it does look like it's Capricorn or this Sagittarius that is also moving at you as well. Oh my gosh, you guys. So do you have this newfound love within yourself and really communicating with yourself and uniting with yourself after a hard breakup? It does look like a hard breakup, but it does really feel like you just found somebody else. Hmm. But it does feel like whatever this olive that's coming, this olive branch that's coming at you, somebody wants a reconcil reconciliation with you. They do feel guilty about the situation at hand. They know that there was no victory right now, but they do want to offer you something. Um, they do want to replenish this love and redefine how they feel about you. And they are coming in quickly too. So it does feel like you have a new relationship that's really picking up the pace. And then you have this other person who really wants to reckon the yep, three, there's a three of pentacles. You, you are really, you are really on a pedestal at this time between one person and another and like an ex. So as you're having this new relationship really looking at you, um, you definitely have this ex who wants to come back to reconcile things with you, which you are saying no. So it doesn't look like it's a very good uh, situation on that end for them. Um, definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, so we'll say your ex is this Capricorn. Um, but it also looks like someone else is pointing the finger at, at them or you. I see someone pointing the finger at you. Well, I want to clarify on that because now I'm starting to think there's more than three here. Friend, a family member, somebody is pointing the finger at you. It feels like they are pointing the finger at you. They do feel that you should take control of this situation. And I do feel like whoever this other person is, um, a friend, a family member, sister, somebody, they definitely want you to take the reconciliation with this Capricorn. Um, they're definitely pulling, pointing the finger at you saying that the only reason this is not working is because it's your fault. Um, and they're ha actually losing some patience with you um, about the situation, yeah. They want you to come a compromise with this Capricorn. They really want you to take this Capricorn back. Um, even though I do feel like some of you, you do have this other person around you. Um, you are looking out at this other situation. Like I said, if you don't have another person, guys, this other, then no matter how it is, you definitely have this Capricorn and there's definitely three. So <laughs> um, if it's just the newfound love within yourself and you're saying, no, I've redefined my love within myself. I've healed from this. I don't want a partner. This other person I definitely wants you to take this person back. Could be an, a Leo that wants you to take them back. If you're saying this other person has too many secrets and you don't want, you don't want to deal with their secretive side. There's, they they have too many secrets. They they're liars. They 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 hide too many things. I don't want to be a part of that. Um, you have new newfound ambitions with the three of wands, one way or another. I don't. I, it doesn't matter if it's a newfound love and ambition and love with someone else 
or you're just worried about yourself. However it is, you have found new things um, and you're not worried about this person at all. Yeah, you're not taking their cups of love. There's definitely, that one person is definitely pointing the finger at you, telling you that you could have love with this person, but you are denying it. I also feel like they kind of manipulate the situation if you do have new love. And that they don't want you to take that love or keep yourself in the relationship with this other person. This other person, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to call them Libra for now. Um, but but um, they, they, they want you to be with this Capricorn. God, maybe, maybe it's a Pisces you're dealing with. I don't know, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, maybe you have a new Pisces. Oh, my gosh. You know, I don't know. But oh, maybe it's Libra or Pisces. I don't know. But they definitely don't want you to do that. They... They say that it is, you know, they're they're trying to say that it's your fault that, that this isn't happening. Don't you see that they're trying to come back to make reconciliation with you? Um, this other person really is an emotional wreck without you. This Capricorn, um, they really do want to take your, you want you to take their their cups of love. Um, <clears throat> they're definitely putting it all out there. This other person really is. Yeah, really communicating with you. But it does feel like, okay, so if your person, the other person, I said Libra, maybe it's an Aquarius. I don't know. We're just going to call it Libra for now. But they're still rushing in you with all this communication. And they, you know, if you have this new love, they are definitely on your side about this situation and communicating what you need to know um, and how you feel. So as you're feeling kind of, you know, really messed up in some ways over here, cancer about this situation because this other friend or family member is pointing the finger saying why don't you take Capricorn's love you know they're the best ones for you oh my gosh it could be your mother <laughs> um you know you and Libra don't have anything going that's where your true love is but um it's like this um it's either you have great communication within yourself and you're really logical about the situation even though your heart's all kind of a mess because uh, you definitely have this one who's like undying love for you over here. Um, and then being scolded over here pretty much. So how it, that's exactly how it feels. You're being scolded. Um, wow. I just see lies and deceits and just the realizations that this person is a liar and I can't trust them. There is no trust issue within this Cancer or this uh, Capricorn, guys. Um, they're just not, um, and your person doesn't have to be a Capricorn. I'm just using that as reference to the person we're talking to, but you just see them as being so deceitful and it almost makes me feel like they've even got whoever is pointing the finger at you and nagging at you about this situation. Um, sounding like mom over here. Um, they've really kind of got them tied around her little finger or his little finger, um, to make them believe that, you know, that they're your true love, or they're going to do this or that, but they really have them manipulated into um, making them believe that they're number one for you. Let's put it that way. And you have the realizations that this is just cannot work and that everybody in this whole situation, except for the new love that you possibly may have, if you don't, you throw that away, um, is wearing rose-colored glasses. Um, and, you know, this is just, it's almost crazy talk in its own way. Um, because however Capricorn is talking, you know, to this other person, they are really making them believe a bunch of falsities. Um, and there's more behind the facade. This has definitely got a facade now, doesn't it, my friends? There's more than meets the eye to this situation. I don't think that this Capricorn, um, treats you very well. And if they really do have that kind of pull and tug on this other person to make them believe that they're a good guy in the situation, your person could be, a, a, this other person they're talking to could be a, a Sagittarius. Um, but um, they definitely do have the tug and pull on them and manipulating them to make them believe that, you know, whatever it is they want them to believe. And, and making you out to look like the bad guy in this situation. Um, so if you do have this new love, it just feels like right now the only person you really have on your side beside yourself 
um, would be this Libra, this new love, because they seem to be the only one that seems to actually be listening, pay attention, and actually watching the situation with an, you know, analytical mind. They don't even have to use their intuition. They're just listening. They're listening to the chaos um, that's going on. And that's really what I feel, right? And they're the only ones that are pulling out all the strength for you. And, you know, if you really do have this other person, for those of you, if it is not just yourself, but there definitely is a lot of offers of cups and love um, from this, um, we called it Libra, and they're just continuing. Like I said, somebody's definitely dealing with Pisces, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the High Priestess, right? And it's like somebody's definitely dealing with Pisces. Um, but anyway, go back to this Libra over here. Um, but uh, definitely they're pulling all the weight for you, really offering you the emotional love um, that's really going on over here. Um, and it almost feels like they're the only ones on your side. And that's, you know, and even if it's not new love, maybe it's your bestest friend in the whole world. Because um, no matter what, I still cannot deny that there's four people in this situation and they are just... It's okay, Cancer. I got your side. I see exactly what's going on. The only reason she's pointing fingers at you is because they're manipulating the situation. They're telling them lies. Um, and then, you know, and uh, converting this whole situation into making you guilty of the whole situation. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, you're really standing your ground and blocking yourself from this. these, these two people. Um, and it just feels like, you know, Libra's over here saying, yes, block yourself, you know, stand your ground, become strong. And they're really strengthening you up. They're really giving you what you need, really keeping you strong, um, you know, and not giving in. Oh, do not give in, right? Do not give them the justification. Do not give them any kind of energy or want. The uh, best thing you could do on this point right here, Cancers, go into your shell if you have to. Um, and, you know, just ghost the crap out of them, right? But just do me a favor. When I say go into your show, don't go in. If this is love, don't go away from this person or this person. Whoever this person is who's giving you all this love and attention, don't, don't block yourself from them. Because they're the ones that are keeping you strong and they're the ones that are keeping you sane. And they're the ones that are offering you all the love. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, a friend, a sister a new love. It doesn't matter who it is. They're the ones that are there really protecting you. And I do feel that they're kind of your knight in shining armor. I don't care if they're male, female. I don't, it doesn't matter to me because they're the ones that are actually going to stand up for you in the end because they're watching, paying attention to this whole scenario that's going down. And you know what happens when knight in shining armors come in? You get blasted, right? Because that's exactly what's happening. They're saying, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to keep you at bay over here, and I got your back. But don't think anything, don't think anything, though, because when the shit hits the fan, here I come. I'll run them over, you know? And that's true friendship. That's true love. That's, that's, that's the true, you know, that's the true blue. That's what you're really needing. And, yeah, it's because in the past all this did was just drain you, drain you, drain you, you know, and they kept you out in the cold, and you just kept trying to make everything okay again. Even though they just kept moving down the ladder and, you know, and making things horrible and just made the relationship just turn into a nightmare, right? But you found the justification within the situation later, and it could be that you found the justification within this Libra. Like I said, no matter what, I'm picking up someone's Libra boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, so no matter how it is, and you might even got divorced or we're going to have be divorced, or maybe you have some kind of legal separation, Whatever the situation is, it doesn't matter. It was justified, and you knew it was. But now them coming back is not very justifying. And then having this other person being on their side, and this person, whoever's on their side, it probably does hurt because I have the King of Cups upside down. Because this is a mom. This is a sister. This is somebody who's very important to you, and you're saying, I cannot believe that you're listening to their fairy tale lies. So, yeah. Absolutely. So in the, you know, outcome over here is, you know, getting the good news from a situation to let go of the situation that's overwhelming you, following the dreams 
you know, of this Libra and really making everything better. Because I, I'm telling you, the Libra in this story, right, in this storyline is going to help you get through all of this. Because everything that they have about them is totally pure. They adore you and they are going to help heal you and make everything better. Um, and definitely bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. Now, for the side of this Capricorn, this Capricorn, I'm telling you, and yes, it is from a, an ex from the past who does give you these nostalgic feelings, you know, but they want you to come back and be a part of their world. And you're saying, I cannot. But why would you do that when it looks like they knew it was not justified? For some of you, I feel like the justification in this whole story, I think they left you. I do. I think that they left you at one time and now they want to come back and say, I'm sorry I left. I'm guilty of leaving, but you need to come back with me. What? And I think this is where this, you know, but then they want to, I think the, the, where they're trying to turn the story around to make you kind of look like the bad guy with the finger pointing and all that is that kind of like, well, you pushed me away, cancer. You know, but I'm going to give you a second chance. Oh, really? Okay. Because here it's saying, I walked away. I said that I wasn't going to be there. I gave you three of swords. They may have even left you for someone else. Well, the grass was greener. Now they want to tell you that the grass isn't greener anymore. But then you've got this other person that says, oh, well, you know, they were young and they were made a mistake. You know, you should take them back because now they really, really know what they want from a situation. And they really want to really plant seeds with you, you know, and really plant a future with you. And you're saying, no, they escaped with my heart. They pushed me away. You know, now they want me to come and surrender to them. You think backing me into a wall is really what you're going to do? And they do. They do. Because they're juggling all the thoughts and all the ideas of how they're going to get cancer back. And they really do believe that this is justified with the chariot and having their victory for self-gratification. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why would it be self-gratification? Oh, because I thought the grass was greener on this side, so I left you, Cancer, to go be with this this other, uh, maybe Capricorn or this other person, um, and now you're going to tell me that, oh, it didn't work out, so I'm going to come back and get what I feel is mine. That feels like ownership. That's bad. Because now they're saying, well, it was okay that, that I didn't do good over here with this other person. Cancer will take me back. Well, they have to. I'll go talk to their mom, and she'll nag them to death. Right? And it is. It's three of cups. I'm telling you, some of you, they left you for somebody else and they want to come back in. Well, I'm telling you right now, whoever the knight is, and they're coming in really quick and fast about it, but the knight of cups says no. No. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of you, it is new love. It's this new love that keeps you going strong. Um, or this, and this newfound love that you also have within yourself so you can break it apart however you want. But this is all manipulation. And this is because they do believe that they're, they're you know what, this is, guys, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's entitlement. They think that they're entitled to whatever they want. So what, when this doesn't work, then they're entitled to go get somebody else again? Or are they entitled to say, oh, well, look, you're doing good again. Woohoo, I'm going to go see if the grass is greener over there again. No, it was dirt before. Why the hell would you think that it's growing grass now? I, I don't know. I just feel like this person could go back and forth, back and forth, whenever they feel like they're entitled to do something for their own Nine of Cups. So, you know, and you already have, you know, a lot of you already have this new beautiful love over here, you know, that you're not going to even, even, you know. I mean, why would you? You got the Ace of Pentacles. They're so, you know, into you, they're going to help you do everything you need. And if you just, you know, don't want anybody and you're all alone, why the hell would you want to, you know, go and mess everything up when you just got over healing? No matter how it is, that's exactly what it is. So I don't see any passion over there. Look, this person is not really in love with you anyways, and you know it. You say, no, this is not true love. This is unrequited love. It's pretty lustful. And it's pretty just your gratification for whatever you want out of the situation. In which always, in the end, it's like you get hurt out of the situation with the hand. And there it is, but they're trying to readjust everything. How are they going to readjust your life? Yeah, well, and there it is. Traveler returns. Sorry, guys, that's it. Yeah, and they want to bring a tower to your life and try to get you all down again. Now, I don't... Nope. 
Now, I, I say, you know, whatever it is that you're doing that makes the two of cups for yourself, you just continue to go strong in that situation. You know, if you have this friend, whoever it is, you keep going strong there too. And definitely, you know, this person who's pointing the finger is definitely going to keep continuing to try to push you two together. Maybe it's his mom, right? Or her mom. Who knows? But somebody's definitely calling you and calling you out on this situation, saying you know where you belong. Ooh, I don't like that one either. I, I don't like all these words I'm hearing. It's just, it's just like, you know, so you just keep focused where you need to be focused because I, I really don't. I really don't like these words because it makes it sound like they own you um, and that you're supposed to just balance wherever they tell you to balance and you know don't worry about it I got a third party but you know babe just wait for me I'll be back when I'm, I'm done with them ew ew I don't think so you know ew I don't like that energy so it's not a very good energy okay my friends until next time peace and love bye-bye